Hello, today I'm going to do a tutorial on Bluetooth for your computer. So, how we're going to be doing this is we're going to be using C Sharp and uh, a library for it called 32 Feet. So, we've got to download both those things before we begin. Um, I haven't done a tutorial in a while and I can't seem to get my mic working, so I apologize if this sounds a little shit. So, <clears throat> the first thing we're going to do is download Visual C Sharp. Ooh, didn't spell that right. Go to this download one here. Oh, I've already got it open over here. Uh, scroll down. And you'll see this Visual Studio 2010 Express. Expand that and install this. I've obviously already installed it. Um, next thing we want to be doing is we want to go to 32 feet. Uh, 32 feet Bluetooth download. Here we go, 32 feet dot net home. And go ahead and download that. I've already downloaded it, but I will click that link just for your sake. So that's about 5 megawatts. Um, so once you've gone and installed Visual C Sharp, open that up. That, that link click there, but and let's extract this to our desktop because that's where I like to extract things. Feet. Open it up. Extract to desktop 32 feet. Okay. Then you want to run the uh, setup. I don't know which one you click here, but we click the setup application. I'm not sure what it's going to do if I've already done it before, but. Alright, so I've already got it, so it's not going to work, but. um. I've installed it here into my C drive program files 32 feet so if you want to just follow along and do that as well that's good so go ahead and open up C sharp and go new project Windows application, let's call it something like Bluetooth Tutorial. Okay. Now there's a few things we can do here. Um, if you haven't just come from my Bluetooth Android tutorials, or you don't know anything about Bluetooth connections at all, um, I'll just show you, I'll just explain a few things here. We have, there's two ways of making a connection. We either have the server side. So if you're um, more into electronics, it might be called the slave device. And we also have the client master. So I'm just going to explain this in, with regards to being a, a web server. So a web server is basically always sitting there listening, waiting for someone to connect to it. That might be you coming along with your Android phone here and you know, trying to download some file just like we did of 32 feet or something. Um, so when we create a Bluetooth connection, we can either make this server type connection where we just sit there waiting for someone to connect to us, or we can connect to an already existing server. In my Android tutorials, I made I made it so we're connecting as a client. Uh, I didn't really talk about that back then, but. Um, I'm talking about it now, so no complaining. Uh, in this example, we're going to do both, just so you, you can get a better grasp of what we're going to be doing. So first, we want to set up our views. Um, actually, first, what we'll do is we will add our reference. So click on your, if you don't have this open by the way, we can go to Windows, Win, ooh, Tools, Options, uh, 
to not know what I'm looking for here. So, um, open your solution explorer and click on your project name. And then you want to go to project, add reference. And if your installation file worked properly, you'll have it in here, in your .NET file type. I actually can't. Oh, that was a text. Instead, I'm just going to go browse and I'm going to look for that file we just installed, the 32 feet. So, C drive, program files, 32 feet.net, um, net, in the hand.net.personal.dll. So, that's what we want to add. And good. Alright. Now, go to your tools and let's add a few views. First, I'm going to add a couple of text boxes. There's one, there's two, and then I'm going to add a list box. And Let's add a radio group, a group box, and two buttons to that. So two radio buttons to the group box. One, two, and lastly, let's add a button. So go over to our properties tab here, and let's make this one a multi-line. True and Get that out of the way. Expand it out. And let's just call this one feedback. So scroll up to the top. Name TB output. That's where we're going to display all our information like connecting and all that jazz. Next we'll set up this one. And this is where we're going to just type a wee message for our Bluetooth to see. And we'll go text box. Um, just call it text. I'm not sure if output was the best name for the other one, but never mind. Okay, I can't seem to be able to move this group box here. Right. Let's change the name of this group box to connection type. We'll call this one client. So this is where we're going to select whether we're connecting as a client or a server. And we'll call this one server. Obviously, in your application, you may need to only connect as a client or you may need to only connect as a server, so you won't need to do this, but um, just follow along anyway, and at least you'll have that code for the future. Now we'll, we'll rename those actually as well. Oh, that's annoying. RB client. RB server. List box. I'll just call that list box one, that's fine. And let's call this. B go. Let's change the text to go. For some reason I lost half that button there. Alright, so just double click on the button here and we'll get through to our form design um, the code for our form. Or make sure to save it as well something I often forget to do. And um, I'm going to pause there and I'll be right back.